Ephesians 6, 11 to 18. Hello, YouTube. This is Cole. Meet the Bible. I'm at uh, City Barbecue in Garner, North Carolina. Just opened up. Haven't been in there. Don't know anything about it. Might be pig, and I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing a lesson here real soon that I don't think we're supposed to be eating pig, uh, but who knows? Maybe they got chicken too. Um, Ephesians 6, 11 through 18. Talking about the gospel of armor. I got these two cute little kids that are going to read those for us here in a, in, a, in a second. But I want to put emphasis on 613. Wherefore, take up you the, the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day. Well, when is the evil day? I submit. That's when Satan's coming here. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. And, you know, he's got five months. He's got a short while. That will be the evil day. That is time you want to have the armor on. 6, Ephesians 6, 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And I submit, the more scripture you memorize, the sharper your sword is. Idiot days in a wake up, people. I hope we're getting ready. Subscribe, like, Team Jesus. Now watch these kids though. Watch these kids. They're really cute. I'm going to close on this one. God bless. Bye. Put on the full arm of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist and with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, Take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit with all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alone and always keep on praying for all the saints. Ephesians 6, 11 to 18. I think we did one one time without sillies. Finch with the lightning.